There is no reason why anybody in this world should not have access to safe water. I knew that, that Haiti was um, a, a place that had a lot of needs for clean drinking water. You know, we can talk about the statistics all we want, but until you actually come here and see that, you know, this is, uh, these peoples struggle every day and they spend their whole lives uh, just to try to get clean water and, and to get food. And it's, it's a great need and it's, it's uh, something that's not just here in Haiti, but all, everywhere. Today, right now, people are dying. And they're dying from a cause that we have ready solutions for. There is absolutely no contaminant known to mankind that we don't have the technology to remove from water. Before we took the water, no treatment. The people come to, to bring water, uh, drink water, they use some ties, seek. Uh, after when Water Mission International come, we build this system. Now the, the population come to bring water. I think at this time, the people will stop to die because the, the water is clean. We can drink the water now, uh, safety. You see, you know, the, the infrastructure and what we're in is very primitive, but once you get inside here, you see the, the high-tech equipment, you see the solar panels on the roof, uh, the filtration systems, and uh, you listen to George talk about uh, the level of, of um, you know, particulates that are being filtered out, and it's basically the same water that we would have out of our faucet in the United States. And to think that that could, could happen in a place like this for a relatively inexpensive amount of money, um, it's, it's amazing. Every treatment system we build here is built by volunteers. We do electrical work, wiring of pumps, solar panels, actually building the water treatment system, just a myriad of things, but all that's done by volunteers. It's just a matter of connecting the people to see that need and then connecting them with the people that are taking care of that need. And George and Molly with Water Missions International provide exactly that. Our whole philosophy is to try and affect transformational change in the community and, and amongst the people. And we, and we see that happen. When they can run their own water utility, when it becomes theirs, and they can still make water and they can still serve. And pretty remarkable stuff. Good job. <laughs> our strategic relationships are vital to our work. They allow us to maximize every donor's dollar and allow us to do so much more work that we, that we couldn't do. It's very impressive and it certainly plays a huge role in our ability to succeed. We've got a company that makes pumps and the pump might be used for a sprinkler system primarily for watering grass. And we take that same pump and we put it into a community that all of a sudden has improved people's lives and reduced diarrheal incidents by 54% in that community. It's a little bit more compelling story. Uh, and, uh, and being able to go and take that back and share that, um, they have an ability to share that with their employees and their employees get motivated and get excited about um, the products that they're making. Before we came into this community, there was a hand pump here. And the people would come to the hand pump and pump the water and carry the water back to their house. So we removed the hand pump, we put a solar powered pump into the well, and then we had the community build an enclosure that protects the pump. And inside that enclosure is a water treatment system that removes the impurities from the water and adds a small amount of chlorine We're making 10 gallons of water per minute. 10 gallons of water per minute, that's 600 gallons of water an hour. That's enough water easily for 3,000 people. And by the way, there's about 8,000 people living in this community. So that's why you see a long line of people here getting, getting water, because as much water as we're making, we're still really with one unit not making enough water for the whole community. C'est une fierté pour moi. Parce que bon Dieu t'a aidé à Water Mission, 
venir ici pour aider nous à bénéficier de l'eau. Ça, ça rend fait que nous ne pas mener en plus monde à l'hôpital. Parce que de l'eau, nous sentons que vraiment, c'est une nécessité qui est très, très importante pour nous. Je pense que je veux remercier de votre mission parce que ils viennent ici pour implémenter ce projet. The people uh, is very happy to see because they drink a good water now. Less people is sick. I want to say to watch the mission to come with more project in the in the locality because uh, we need this. We need we need that. Thank you. Thank you to Water Mission International. We thank you a lot in the name of Oreb Evangelical Church. In the name of children. In the name of the area, we thank Water Mission International. Thanks to your investment in Water Missions of time, talent, and treasure, Water Missions has been able to invest in this community. We're now providing access to safe water to the people in this community. Thank you so much for making that possible, and God bless you.